What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the Apple iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. Now this is actually going to be the Incipio Slim case. It's actually going to be a slim semi-transparent case. So we're going to check it out to see if it's a hit or a miss for your brand new iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. First thing I noticed on this one, it really kind of stuck out to me, is 14 foot drop protection. That's some big boy drop protection. Usually you get, I think Tech 21 is 12 for like their semi-transparent case which is that Evo check, and that's really good, but 14 foot, that is good drop protection for a style case like this. But we're gonna check it out to see if it's a hit or miss. Obviously you can see it's a semi-transparent, it's got that smoke color, and I like that because you're not getting the full effects of a clear case. You're not getting the fingerprints, you're not getting the dirt, you're not getting the dust, you're not getting the yellowing, but you're still gonna be able to see some of the back of the phone. So to me, I like that a lot. And the back's gonna tell you a little more details what you're gonna get. So let's go and check this one out. Got a, I think this is like a newer series that they've got. I've got a few Incipio cases on deck that we're going to roll out to review. If you guys have any suggestions, throw it up in the comment section. First impression, hard shell plastic back. As you can see, semi-transparent look to it. Got a little Incipio branding. It looks very clean. Very nicely done. Got a little bit of flex to it, but overall it's a hard shell plastic. And it transitions to kind of like a gel style finish on the sides. It's not quite as grippy as a gel style, but pretty decent. And then I can see what they're talking about with that drop protection. You can see these little ridges right there all the way around the top of the bumper. And then it looks like it kind of stops on the sides right here. So basically it's the, the top and then the bottom area. You're going to get that extra little ridges for the actual protection. But nice case, nice build quality. Overall, pretty impressed with this one so far. Should look really sleek against the uh, iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. I got the red one here, so I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to look. Let's go and wipe her down, wipe her down like we do. Wipe it down, wipe it down. Make it look beautiful. Keep on popping my camera up. There we go. Just going to check this one out real quick. Snaps right into place. You can see it kind of mutes the red down a little bit. I actually like that. It looks pretty good. It's like a really kind of clean, well... It's like a smoky, smoky black color, and I like what really what it does to the red, but then you can still see the red popping through on the camera, so very nice. It's going to add some bulk to it, but overall, it's got a nice feel to it, and still kind of keeps a light weight, so very nicely done. What do you guys think about that? You like that? I can see where some people would and some people wouldn't. I do see some fingerprints accumulating, but overall, I still can see the Apple logo. Camera protection. Looks pretty good. I, I would like to see maybe it's a little bit raised more. But overall, I think the camera protection is pretty decent. Now, what they did here, I do see these little ridges. And see the corners? Right there, right there. All these little four corners have a little ridge. And that's going to raise it up just a little bit. And that's actually going to give you some extra camera protection because it's not going to be completely flush when you're putting it down on the table. Plus, what that also is going to do, it's going to raise it up just a little bit so you're not going to get scratched up as much on the back of it. So that is a really nice little, see if it wobbles. No, it's perfect. So they did a great job with that. You're going to get, again, it's not going to be scratched up quite as bit because it's raised up just a little bit from the actual any table. You're going to have a little bit of gap there. So very nicely done. Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip zip. Lip protection looks really good too. Fat lip, edge to edge protection. They did a great job with the lip protection right here. You can see how thick that is around all the corners of the actual case itself. Buttons, oh, these are terrible buttons. Gosh, what are they doing? They they almost ruined the case for me. This is like the buttons are okay, but there's such a big press that you're having to, I hate that. They could have switched the buttons out and used like, here's like the first example, Tech 21. Let me show you what they're using. They're using these different type of buttons right here, and it actually makes them super responsive. So really, to me, they're wasting a case. They could have switched those out pretty easily, and then it would have made a nice little actual addition to your case. But now you're still having to push a little bit. It's not crazy terrible, but when I'm competing, when they're competing against Tech 21, they got to do a little bit better right than that. So that will be, be a negative. If you hate the buttons being stiff, you might want to put a pass on this one. Speaker looks good. Power looks good. Just a great case. This is okay. Power button's not terrible. So that's a little bit better. All right. So overall, 
this is this is crazy because I really like this case. So I'm gonna say it's a mini hit. Let's go and check this one out real quick to see if it's a uh, mag safe. Let's go and check out the mag safe real quick here. There you go. So you still got the look at that mag safe compatible. So here's what I'm gonna say. It's a mini hit. I personally really like this case. I can't 100% recommend it because I don't like the buttons. The buttons just are a deal breaker for me. If that's not a deal breaker for you, you get really good protection, edge to edge protection, nice built quality, nice build quality that you're probably not going to get on a lot of cases. So overall, I'm going to say this one's a mini hit. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Are, are, the, are stiff buttons a deal breaker for you? To me, I got to say after using some really good cases with nice buttons, it is a deal breaker for me these days. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about that. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.